Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is just a really quick tutorial on how to create one of these little leaf or shell shapes. Let me know in the comments down below which one you think it looks like because to me it looks like a shell but I've also heard it called a leaf. So I'm just taking four cords and I'm going to attach them to a dowel using a lark's head knot. So that just means to split the cord in half like so, put it around your dowel and then pull the cords through the loop there. So you can make this with as many cords as you like, but I like the look of it with four cords. I think it creates quite a nice shell shape. So now we are going to be taking the last cord from there and pulling it over towards the left. And we're going to create rows of double clove hitch knots. So take the cord next to that cord, bring it up over, and then bring it behind and through that loop. And then just pull that to the top of your work and repeat once more on the same cord. So up, over, behind and through the loop. So that's one double clove hitch knot. So we're just going to carry on this pattern with using all the cords going from right to left. And I'm holding it at a slight angle going down towards the left. Okay, so now that we have finished that, we can just take that first cord from that and just put it out of the way now. We won't be using that for a while. So now we're going to take this first cord here and we're going to create a row of double clove hitch knots going towards the right in the exact same way as before. So that first cord will come up, over, behind and through the loop and you'll repeat twice on each cord. So this is definitely a super easy shape to create once you have the technique down. So again, we're going to take that first chord here and create another row going towards the right. So we're going to do this and we're going to create four rows all together. So you'll have the first row which is going towards the left and then you'll have four rows going towards the right. So this adds a really, really pretty shape and texture to any wall hangings and I really can't wait to use them in future wall hanging projects. Okay, so now that we have one row going towards the left and four rows going towards the right, it's now time to do four rows going towards the left. So we're using this last chord here and we're gonna create four rows going towards the left now. So if you do recreate this, please be sure to tag me on Instagram at LunacraftOnline because I'd really love to see how you have used it and what you've created using this pattern. Okay, so I'm just finishing the last knot on the fourth row going towards the left now. So we can see we've got this kind of arrow shape. So we're going to take these two cords here and we're just going to tie one double clove hitch knot. It doesn't matter what direction you go in for this. But this will just close the shape and bring the two sides together and it will form your shell shape. And there you have it, your shell is complete and it looks really lovely. And I love how 3D it is, it gives such a unique texture and appearance to your wall hangings. You can sort of flatten it out like this, and to me that looks a lot more like a leaf, but I like to have it pushed out so it's nice and 3D and it looks more like a little shell to me. So let me know in the comments whether you think it's a shell or a leaf. And again, if you do recreate this, please be sure to tag me on Instagram. The link to my Instagram is in my bio as always. And if you could subscribe, like or comment, that would really help me out. And I hope you have a lovely week. Bye.